and welcome today. During this short video, we'll take a look at the CCH Pro System FX Scan application to get an overview of the complete scanning workflow. This big picture view should help you step through the process. We'll start with our document preparation steps. Then we'll take a look at some general scanner settings, specifically the Fujitsu Scanner's Paper Stream Capture software. The workflow will be slightly different with the Fujitsu Scanners, so if you don't have this model in your office, you may want to view our other video on this topic. Finally, we'll review the quality control steps and how these files are picked up by the CCH Pro System FX Scan Administrator. When we take a look at this workflow diagram, I want you to note that this basic workflow will be applicable to both your 1040s and your 1041 work paper files. We'll break the workflow down, starting with the document preparation. At the very top of the file, we will use a cover page. Your cover page designates the client and will be printed from your CCH Pro System FX Scan workstation module. Alternatively, if your firm's using one of our document management applications, you'll need to substitute this with a document routing slip printed from Document Central. Our document and scan applications can be integrated to auto route the files once scanned, so it's important you use the document routing slips instead. With the cover page created, next take the source documents received from your client and begin to sort it. Sort it between documents you want to scan from documents you don't want to scan to avoid scanning frivolous pages. Next, sort out the single page from the multi-page documents and insert your target sheets. Add one single page target sheet on top of all of your single page documents and one multi-page target sheet for each multi-page document. Target sheets provide instructions to the scan application so it knows how to group the pages within the final digital file. If you decide to use color paper for target sheets, the colors we found to work best is a pastel yellow for a single page and a pastel green for a multi-page target sheet. After we perform the document preparation, we will scan and review our documents during a quality control step. When we talk about scanning, you'll find some general settings listed here. However, if you need any additional information, please visit our support website and view the document Scanner Tips to Improve Image Quality. After you scan the work papers, they will be available on screen to perform a quality control check. Most of our successful firms perform a QC step on each and every file since catching a mistake early in the process is much quicker and efficient to correct. Quality control may include counting pages, verifying the completeness and contrast of images. Let's take a look at how this might work with the Fujitsu PaperStream Capture software. This software communicates with your scanner, providing the necessary settings. When you open up PaperStream Capture, you may see two profiles on the home page, one for 1040s and another for 1041s. Load your paper in the paper tray and select the appropriate option. Use this thumbnail view or a zoomed in view to perform your quality control steps. And once your QC steps are complete and you're happy with the results, press the release button here at the bottom of the screen. This will release the file and automatically send it to the CCH Pro System FX Scan Administrator module for processing. When it reaches the scan application, the server will perform a series of processing steps including image enhancements, recognition, and data extraction. When the CCH Pro System FX Scan Administrator completes the processing steps, the file is marked ready for autoflow, and a preparer can start the return and perform the autoflow steps when applicable. Once autoflow is complete, they'll obtain a draft of the return as well as the organized bookmarked digital file. As we wrap up, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope this short video helped you put the pieces of the workflow together. For additional training and resources, please click on the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.